Hey folks, Mel the Train Shooter back in the studio and back with something special. Yes, we are starting a new one of my personal projects. A bit like the Big Burma board, but this time it's not bolt action and it's not in Burma or World War II. This time it's in the 41st millennium. We're playing Kill Team and I'm building my Admech board, Isolation's Reach. Now you've heard me go on about this before, and I have talked about it before because we sort of got rolling with it just before the pandemic, and then, you know, Everything went up in the air. Now things are settling down. Now I'm back in the thing and I'm finding my passion. I'm gaming again. I want to get my kill team board set up. Now, I got a load of GW plastics. I got a load of Mantic plastics. I got a load of other little bits from various places to put together with it, but I was struggling. Yeah, because although I got the general concept, I was struggling with the actual baseboard. Now that had gone on for quite a while until I recently made sort of, I've got a mate called Craig and he runs a company called Uncertain Scenery. And one of the things that he does is he makes like sci-fi baseboards. Yeah, really in-depth stuff. And so after a chat, decided, yep, yeah, that's the way we're gonna go. And so I got some of the boards off him. Thank you, Craig. And I'm gonna be taking you through building the baseboards and putting them together in this video and basically showing you how this is gonna work. So. Come on down, let me show you. Right, straight off, I've got this dry fitted custom build. And what this is, is it's one of Craig's basic tiles. Okay, now it is just dry fit. Yeah, so I've got to glue it together. Yeah, but it's his basic support shape. Now this is 12 inches by 12 inches by three inches. And it will make up one of the four tiles that makes up the two by two, which will be the base of the actual build. Now the plan is quite simple. What I want to do is build two by two tiles. Yeah, I can start off gaming with just one of those and then I can expand on those, hopefully up to a four by four, maybe a six by four, but fully de detailed Admex City, which is what I'm going for. So coming back now, we've got these. Now to show you what else that we've got. Yeah. I also have these boards here, okay? Now, straight off, we've got one of the faraway junctions. Yeah, now this is a T-junction, but as you can see on here, it's got sort of a, a top floor, and then it's got an under area. And I'm gonna be doing some funky stuff with this. Now, uh, that I believe is another T-junction, or is it the crossroads? That's the crossroads that I need. And, that's another T-junction. Now I've gone specifically for these pieces for a certain reason, because I want to arrange them in a way that will make the tiles modular. But rather than go in depth in that now, I think the best thing that I can do is actually just jump into it and then actually just go through, put them together. And once they're together, it's easy to explain how I'm gonna make this modular. So with that in mind, what I need to do now is get cracked on. Pardon me. And so, Cracking on time. Let's get one of these built, eh? That went together remarkably easily, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, it's quite a sizable chunk, and once it's solid, it is, you know. Now it's still wet, you can sort of see. Now I'll be honest with you, a couple of things. These are very well-designed kits, okay? There is no play in anything. Everything fits just neatly, yeah? And I think the only problem I had, yeah, was, I can't even find the tab now. One of these tabs I struggled getting in and it was my fault. Yeah, so I sort of pushed it in, I sort of took the layer off it. So I sort of took a skim off the top of the tab. 
So I had to pull it back, take the skim off and reset it. Yeah, nothing major, worked fine. Now the other thing is that, what you call it? These are, this top detail, it's glued onto the sheet that's underneath and there's no guides or anything, which is making it finicky as hell for me because I'm constantly adjusting it. Now what I do need to do is get some weight on here just so it, it goes down nice and level. But there is our first tile done. Okay, now moving on from that, yeah, I want to get into something a little bit more juicier, so we're going to tackle one of the crossroads now. Now that was a that was a little roller coaster. These are incredibly tight fitting kits. There is very little play in them. So, you know, lots of wiggling, lots of pushing in, but they fit firm. Now, if you come down, yeah, as you can see, lovely kit, nice and solid. Yeah, the glue's dried enough that it's pretty solid now. Yeah, luckily I only put a little skim of glue on these sort of things, so they dry pretty quick. Now the stairs, the stairs did have a ring feature here, okay, and some support columns, but I felt it just encroached into this space too much, so I haven't bothered to put that in. I can jerry fit it and put it in if I want to later, I can, I'll have to clip some bits and jerry rig it, but I can do that. Yeah, there's also these bits. Now, these have got like floor tiles on, yeah, I'm supposed to glue these pieces together, yeah, and they're supposed to go like... So they're detachable. So these are individual pieces and these, blah, 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 that one goes there. And then that one will go there. Yeah, now that is the total floor tile, okay? But I want this as an open space. So I'm not going to be using these at all. Okay, but we've got lots of clips here, hangers over. So I've got to figure out what I want to need to do. Maybe what I'll do is we'll cut a strip off here and we'll put a strip in there. That could work because that's the right length. So if you imagine we go down there, down there, that'll give us a nice corner there. We've got this side. What else we got? We've got a three there, so we can go 
We can probably take that three off there and then we'll need a four. A four at a thick width. At thick width. I've got a three there. Yeesh. Basically, I'm going to have to do some thinking on this, which is why I've not glued these pieces together and I've not taken the kit any further than just where I need to do it to start working my concepts. Yeah, because this is all the stuff I've got to figure out as we go along. Yeah. You've got to love the challenge of it, haven't you? And we will figure it out. Now, the next thing I need to do is, what do you call it? Is just crack on and put the rest of the tiles together. So we've got the box tile, we've got the T-junction, and we've got the custom crossroads. Yeah, that Craig has done for us. So I'm going to crack on with it now. I'll see you shortly, guys. So they're all together. Uh, the other ones, once I've got my hands to them, went together a load easier, okay? And they're all on the table. So if you wanna check it out, there's the simple box piece, the solid box piece. Yeah, it is just a single solid sort of 12 by 12 tile. Yeah, crossroads, another crossroad, sorry, T-junction, T-junction and both of these are the far away ones and then I've got the custom crossroads that Craig did for me for this set. Now as you can see if I put them together it makes a two by two tile and that's what I'm going to be using for the base of my kill team board and I'm going to be extending this up in probably two by two tiles to end up with a four by four or a six by four yeah and I'm kind of looking forward to it. So what are my challenges so far? Okay, right. Well, if I bring you down, you can see here, now we've got, this extends a little bit further than that by about half an inch, same here. That's because these sort of edges are an inch half wide and the tiles are only four inches. So I need to blend those in. Probably gonna use some piping for that, something like that. We've got a load of GW plastics and stuff like that to pour on it. So I don't really see it as a challenge as such. Now, when it comes to GW plastics, where's my box? Yeah. On you go. Like that. Right, I've got a ton of them. I've got a ton of them. Yeah, that's a hobby box. That's not bad, that's only three. Total chaos, just how we like it. Right, so I've got things like these that I've put together now we're sort of checking out that we can sort of put onto these. Now remember, this is gonna be fixed together as a two by two tile. Yeah, so I can have stuff that crosses over. The other thing I want to work on is as I build it up is I'm gonna make it modular, which means piping will connect with other two by two tiles. Yeah, no matter how you arrange them, okay? Uh, so we've got that, yeah, we can get stuff like this, put this on, skulls, I'm sure we can have something skull based, there's tons, yeah, I've got tons of this stuff, just... so, straight away, let me angle that up a little, See, utter chaos, as I said. But straight away, I can start to include these. Now, I've also got the porter cabin from Watch Club from Uncertain Scenery and a bit of a, uh, a bit of a ladder house, they called it. Now, things like this can go on here. They can spread around. This is the challenging bit. I've got all the GW plastics, I've got all the pipes, but I'm gonna spend, I have to spend a couple of days sort of figuring out where things are gonna go on this. Yeah, I mean, where the hell am I gonna put that? <laughs> Looks like a sci-fi gun. Yeah, so my next job is to start to figure things out. Yeah, when I say figure things out, literally just putting stuff on. I think with this one, I have a feeling that we might do something like a fuel storage depot. Because I've got a few of these, 
Yeah, uh, we've got some of these. Can we take that off? There's going to be a lot of breakage of stuff. Yeah, so expect to see me. That's not going to break. That's glued well. Some things are going to be broke. Some things are going to be cut. Ah, see, this is what happens when you use too much GW plastics <laughs> or, or too much watch clip plastic glue. So we could do something with these. Make them double high, perhaps. Maybe put them like that. Some sort of. Pla I don't know. I don't know. Right. What I do know is, although this is still a little bit tacky, so I have to go. That's actually drying quite quickly. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of things that I do need to do. Uh, there's the there's the connector tabs for these that I don't need just yet. Yeah, but I need to put them together. And then I really need to start figuring out where things are going to go. Right, I am stoked for this. It's actually have a base, I've got the foundation now, and that was the thing that was challenging me most. And so now, it's just to figure out... Yeah, see, see, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. There's a difference in the aesthetics between the GW stuff and the Uncertain Scenery stuff. But I can play with that. I can do stuff with that. There's also a lot of detailing on some of the panels and stuff like that, but you can either keep them or a bit of a heavy stipple over them. I can take those off, drop in a little bit of scatter terrain, do a little, I'm thinking do some 3D prints as well. Stuff like that, I can just drop in, that'll give it the look of GW, yeah, to help it blend in that gothic look. So that's one of the challenges, customizing the two by two board. At the same time, we've got to figure out what puts on. And at the same time, I am after suggestions. How would you continue to scratch build and sci-fi this up? Yeah, go on, let me know in the comments. You know what I mean? That's how we do these things. Because I need some help on this one. I'm after your ideas, suggestions, all that stuff. Also, any good Facebook groups on this sort of stuff I should join and that sort of stuff, give me recommendations on that as well. And in the meantime, folks, I'm just going to be playing with a lot of stuff for the next couple of days and just spinning it round. So you can probably find out where I am with this on Thursday's vlog. Yeah, but for the time being, we built the base. I'm quite happy with that. Listen, guys, uh, I think it's time to wrap this up. So let me know your ideas and that sort of stuff in the comments. Obviously, if you've liked this video, then, you know, links are down below. Yeah, you can jump on Patreon, pledge a dollar, help keep the lights on, the cameras rolling and me producing this stuff for you. If you're not into Patreon, then there's other links to buy stuff for the studio, and PayPal donations and stuff like that. There's also the book and all that sort of stuff. But in the meantime, I've got plastic and I've got stuff to do. We've got building to do, folks. So, have a good one. All the best. ta -da.